So what we are doing uh, at the beginning of the year, this is the sixth week from the beginning of the year, is trying to uh, increase our sensitivity and our feeling of uh, the opponent's force and my center of gravity. So we did it front to front using minimal uh, pressure, okay? So if I walk back, he feels me, yeah. If I'm pressing too hard, press hard, okay? And he does this, he cannot feel me, okay? So just take a look at the previous lessons. You don't have to do like, don't have to subscribe, don't have to share anything. Just watch and if it's interesting, that's great, okay? But now let's go to another area that is often neglected, okay? And that's the back. And usually when I'm dealing with the back side, there is almost no sensitivity, okay? The only exception is BJJ. So now what I'm doing is sending back to back. And again, applying minimal force. Okay, and we're starting to move. So that's the first drill. First drill is just feeling back and forth. And he feels me and suddenly he decides to go away and I follow him, okay? So just feeling, 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 everything is there. So that's the first stage of this drill. How long should it be done until I can sense him? Usually, half an hour several times now for the second phase of this drill which is this which is a part of uh, takagi yoshin ryukata oikakedori but we're not doing the kata now because we want to penetrate into the meaning behind the kata so first of all opponent stands behind me and i want to feel him so that's his drill now and i walk and that's my drill now, because he's holding me, okay? And we're working together. Now let's turn it up a notch. And, and that means he has to feel when I stop following him and I hold him lightly, okay? Again, according to Weber Fechner law, in order to sense differences in strength and vectors, I have to lower my effort, so lightly. But then I suddenly disengage and turn, okay? And he suddenly disengages and turn, that's it. So that's the drill. Okay, next one, after I control this. So when he holds me, he takes me for a ride. Bye, And it's forever uh, in tail, okay? When he holds me, he takes me. And I now learn how to step like a ninja. And that means not against an opponent to walk quietly and to, to sneak because I have nobody to sneak on, okay? So I'm just wanting to sense the ground that's behind me that I'm stepping in. That means I have to walk very, very silently and let the ball of the foot meet the mattress before the heel. And we change sides. So I take him for a walk. And now he takes me for a walk. So that's the beginning of Ukemi. Okay, it's not just he throwing me and I react. He does something and I react as long as I want to. Now let's split paths, okay? Because this is not Aikido, even though Aikido is a great martial art, and react. So when he takes me for a ride, I uh, hit him with a tetsui in the ribs. So one, two. And this is what we're doing now. I'm walking, he holds me, and I break. So, and we change sides, and he does the same to me because here in Akba, even an instructor gets hit all the time. So I'm taking him, and he stops, and he hits, bam, okay. 
So now for the whole drill. He holds me. Tetsui. Take the ganseki arm lock. Okay? And I can do this ganseki arm lock because I hit him so hard now that I have a window of opportunity to do the arm lock. And pull. And go off to go. One more time. So we have a flow now. The opponent is behind me. Okay, I sense him. Take him for a ride and do also. Bad form on my side, sorry. One more time. Stop! Pull! Throw. Uh, and that's all for today, folks. Don't subscribe, but maybe like.